Hi again, everybody. We are here again uh, with the second part of this uh, of the video. Um, remember that what we want to do is a sketch line, and uh, in this video, in this part of the video, we are going to do that. In the first part, in the in the first video, we learned how to make that uh, that program that code in order to open a, an event or application a new session no? so uh, now I'm going to teach you how to how to um, how to make a sketch line using VBA for inventor so let's start now please follow me here and uh, in this moment we don't have anything here in this form so we are going to add a new button uh, okay and uh, we are going to call it uh, something like I don't know sketch line for example well if you double click here it will be uh, it, it will be create a new sub routine it will be button one click and uh, here is where we are going to put our new code in order to do the sketch line uh, let's start our program when you start the program here we are um, a new application from Inventor but we don't have here a document part and we need to create a document part in order to make a sketch line so we are going to do that right now Yes. now I'm going to type the code in order to look for an active document part in the Inventor's application that we have already opened so I'm going to type the code and at the end of this code I will explain what does that code means so let's start now I will explain the code so this first line means um, in the inventor application look for all the documents and count all the documents that are opened if the document uh, or excuse me if there are not any document open then show a message and uh, this message could be something like it is necessary to open a new document part and then now here we are the most uh, difficult part of this uh, code uh, well let me tell you something for the people who are uh, making those programs by first time sometimes it's difficult to understand that um, that part I will try to explain in a, in a best way so remember that part doc is available as part document now what we are going to do in here is to add a document from the inventor application and assign it to this part doc to this variable and uh, here we have the first parameter from the class document type enum we are going to take an object that object will be a part document now here in this part we are taking a template file from a file manager 
from the inventor application and how do we do that well from the document object from this class document type enum take this template metric system of measure from this class system of measure enum I know I know this is not a technical or a professional explanation but it's an easy way to understand what's happening here in this video we are not going to use this line we are not going to use this variable um, we're going to use this line in another videos but uh, uh, just to introduce you to this component uh, what this means is that in that variable we are adding all the component definitions from the part document or this variable and uh, all those component definitions are operations like like an extrude, like a sweep, like a loft, or like a boundary patch and uh, another kinds of operations like that now let's check our problem we are going to initialize our program yeah. now we are going to press this button it is necessary to open a new document part because there is no any document part here so our program is going to open one so as you can see we have here a new document part an IPT part yeah part one now please check this uh, we are working in a document part this program is made to work in a document part yeah but let's suppose you have already opened inventor and you're working in an assembly and you execute your program and your program basically is going to make a sketch line in a document assembly and that's not correct we have to and we want to make a sketch line in a document part for that reason we have to identify the active document and we are going to make a new line we are going to make a new code in order to check if the active document is or not a document part so let's start with the code now what it means is that if we have a document type from the from from an active document in the application uh, from inventor and that document type is different to a document object to a part document object please say it is necessary to open a new document part because the active document is another kind of document well you can write here whatever you want and uh, in this line you have to repeat the same from this line in order to open a document with those characteristics now we are going to test this part of the code I want you to see what happens if I have an, an assembly document already open and I execute this code. Well, I'm going to open a, an assembly, an assembly document, it could be here. now this is an assembly document 
and if I uh, start a program it is necessary to open a new document part because the active document is another kind of document and uh, this is this part obviously so ok and a new part document is created.